Tonight, we are going up against Second Skin. I'm a little concerned now. But your salvation and stuff. How come you have not been baptized? Because I never got around to it, okay? I don't know why you always have to be judging me. Because I only believe in science. Welcome to Hispanards. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Hispanards. This is Alex. This is Kenji. All right. We're going to come. We're going to talk some She-Man. We're going to talk some C. We're yeah. going to talk about she whatever what? we want to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know what? Let's get started with uh, He-Man. And and she and, okay. and, 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 she -Man. and I'll give you my impression. I only saw the first episode. Okay. Um, and the first episode, I really, I thought, I thought the first episode story was hokey, and I loved, and I loved the the artwork. I loved the design. Don't disagree with the artwork. Uh, yeah, I loved uh, um, like where the story was going. I I was shocked, uh, and this is a spoiler for anybody who hasn't seen it. I was shocked that when uh, He Man stabbed Skeletor, I was like, "Whoa, that's crazy!" Because you know, we, obviously, we never saw that growing up, when right? We were kids, and then that Skeletor was like, "Nah, I wanted that to happen," and you know, to open up the uh, yeah. that that pyramid right. thing with the power inside, exactly. And then uh, He Man sacrificing himself to make sure that that power doesn't go to Skeletor, and then yeah. they both explode or whatever. Um, so that's what I've seen so far. I want to hear your impressions up until what you've seen, because Kevin Smith, the 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 showrunner right. for the for the whole thing, and the writer of some of the episodes, has gotten a lot of lot a lot of pushback. A lot of backlash. A lot and of backlash. And they're trying to fix, I guess, the mistakes. Now I don't know how they could do that because Kevin Smith himself said that that there's a part one and a part two, mm -hmm. so that that's already in the can. Right, it's done. Yeah. It's a done deal. There's a part one of a series of episodes, which is like six episodes? Yeah. Or eight episodes? I don't know how many. I'm, I'm not sure, but uh, I think this one was six. Okay, six, six So six episodes, and then and then boom, there's another one. Right. So, yeah, tell me what you've seen so far. Now, if I say stuff, do you I, mind? I don't mind. Okay. I don't care about spoilers okay. at all for this. So I, I definitely agree with you with the animation. The animation is clean cut, beautiful. I mean, well, well done. The toys look amazing. Uh, I haven't seen the toys yeah, they, yet. They look like the animation. Uh, something that uh, okay, so um, the way they before I hit up the whole thing, the way when I saw the trailer, when I saw the trailer, it seemed like a He Man show. Okay, like like they're showing He Man a lot and this and that. He basically appears only in episode one, a little bit of episode two, and then he's gone for the rest of the time until probably the end of the episode. And, to the end of the series, I mean the, the first first the, season, the first yeah. season, and something I didn't like about um, what's her name, G um, Tina, yeah. Oh, the uh, the the mad at, man at arms girl, yeah. The, the um, what well, whatever, and, yeah, yeah. So um, I knew her character because she was already part of that universe and stuff from from the old school, from the old school, days, yeah. yeah. And um, the way they depict her, like she's um, they're she's basically now running the whole thing, but. Um, he man dies in the first in the first episode. Right, and what I saw was that she left the kingdom. Yeah, she leaves the kingdom. But here's the, something that upset me: is like she knew this. He he knew him. You know, um, he man. She didn't know that that he was, he was he man. Yeah, right. That yeah, that he was Adam. But um, but she gets upset with um with the royal everybody, family. Everybody, yeah, everybody lying to her. Right. Yeah. Exactly. She makes it about herself, knowing that. This guy just sacrificed, died, and everybody's trying to mourn him. But no, let's make it about me. Like, like you guys lied to me. But I understand her her position. I'm sorry. When someone dies that you knew for a very, very long time. Yeah, but everybody <laughs> deals with grief differently. So, uh, so yeah, I, so I just see, I, I could couldn't see her, buy, I couldn't buy into that. I could see her dealing with it like that. And and then she just ha starts hating everybody, which just makes it seem like she wasn't smart enough to figure it out that it was. All this time, I, you I, can't say that. Most people didn't know. Oh. Most people didn't know. A lot of people knew. <laughs> uh, a lot of people, because the audience had the privilege of knowing who knew, but so, most of the people didn't know. Like so, his father didn't. Yeah, only, only his mother knew. Yeah, you know. But yeah, I just couldn't buy into that 
in, 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 okay. into that. But uh, so he dies, right? Right. So now, uh, now is he dead? Dead? Yeah, he's he's dead. He's he's gone. Okay. Yeah, so he 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 dies, and um, uh, and now you're you're um, you know, times have the past. There's no more magic in the in the in the planet, and um. Oh, in that world. Oh, wait. Time passes a little bit, just a, not, not that much, but just enough. And um, and the villains are now trying to like take over all, all this. And, and and are they all technology based now? Some of them are, not all of them. And where's Orko? Orko, they they end up finding them later on. And um, and he, he another sad thing is they kill him off. They kill Orko off. Yes, they kill. Wow. Him. Uh, he spoil does it, he, spoil it all for me. Okay, I don't care. that's towards the end. Towards the end, he does like this last sacrifice, he's trying to push off um um Skeletor, and he ends up basically exploding. Ex- yeah, he like vanishes and, and and you see like a the cloth that okay what's her name ends up grabbing and you know holding on to. So because what happens is um they go to this other island where um there's supposed to be like another power source, and that opened like a like some sort of um teleport where all the people that have been he-man when they die they go to that world wait there's been other he-man yes oh yeah so they go to this world and these are the like they you you, you see the, the the first original he-man too that and um and what's he look like so like big that guy and it's funny because everybody is all jack you know buff except for adam because i guess he never hit the puberty. <laughs> he got buff <laughs> he got buff so all of the other original he mans are like buff, except for Adam. Adam is just. But you mean in their natural form, in their non-he man form, they're buff? they're just they're all buff. Like, <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have to see this. Yes, to try to understand it better. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's how you gotta you gotta watch it. And and that's the other thing is like they they slap he man in the face in this because even the women look way buffer. Wait, there's been female he man? No, no, not uh, best off females and in it. But just the women around them, like the girl and all of them, they're all jacked <laughs> okay. compared to, you know, oh, yeah, yeah. Adam. Uh, <laughs> so uh, that's one of the complaints, too, that, that they, they just, they're slapping He-Man, at, you know. So um, they give He-Man an opportunity to go back. And this is all towards the end, to, to go back. Um, Adam. They give yeah, Adam. but he says, yeah, Adam. Because who would have been the next He-Man after him? I don't know. Okay. I don't know. So he goes, uh, he goes back, but they tell him like you won't be able to come back, uh, and so he ends up going. And then wait, tr- he won't be able to go to like, like if he, he dies, he man paradise. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So, uh, so he goes, and then uh, they bring back the power, but um, um, Skeletor has been like like when he died, he really didn't die, and he um, he hid within the 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 stone where um, what's her name um, the other villain female. Oh, uh. Yeah, I know yeah. you're talking about. And so she yeah. becomes friends with what's her name, and they're all doing this quest together. Wait, wait. The evil chick becomes yeah. friends with the good. Yes. How do they? How? Uh, evil Lynn. Her name. Evil, evil Lynn. Lynn. Yeah, yeah. They, they, evil Lynn becomes yeah. friends with with. Uh, ta- yes. Uh, Taylene. 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 Ta- is it Taylene or, or Taylene or Taylor? Taylor. 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 So wait, Evil Lynn becomes friends with Tila? Yes. At first they're like clashing, but then they start working together because she's losing her powers as well. Who is? Uh the Evil Lynn? Uh, Evil Lynn, yeah. Okay. And then they become really good friends and then um and this was the end she kinda like backstabs backstabs them because she had no idea that Skeletor was inside that stone and he ends up coming out. And then uh when Adam was about to become He Man, his um uh he, he does the, the whole thing. Skeletor stabs like to the back, and that's how it ends. So they basically go kill off Key Man twice. <laughs> so we don't know if he's gonna be dead or not for the next right. one. But to me, showing that they're killing these characters and then bringing them back, there's to me there's no more like okay, there's no stakes here. Okay. So I'm seeing that now because they're killing this character, they're bringing them back to life. I'm not sure if what's his name. Um. So then wait, what? What is the whole story about? Is it about finding He Man or is it about It's about finding the power source again for the planet. And accidentally they run into He Man. Yes. They weren't and, expecting him. And then they talk to him. Yeah. And he leaves Paradise. Yes. 
or whatever it is, the afterlife. Right. To come back to what? To help them find the power source? Yeah, to put it all back into place and stuff like that. And then, in the process, Skeletor, who is like in a in, in suspended animation, kind of. Yeah. Gets brought back by Evil Lynn, mm-hmm. who had made friends with Tila. Tila. Yeah. I'm telling you, it's. I'm really gonna have to watch this. Yeah, I really I, wanna, I I I I really want to understand it. I can. Uh, I thought it was going to be like a He-Man show, and I don't see that. I see it as the Tila show. Like, that, that's how they're representing. Like, right. And I, so I was just like, ah, uh, I, I kind of got turned off. I don't disagree with you. Like, he was, Kevin Smith was addressing the criticism about this show mm-hmm. before the show came out, and he kept saying, like, there's a source that, was, that knew the story and had been putting all this information out, and Kevin Smith kept saying, "Look, this is this show is about He Man. It's not about anybody else, but He Man." Kept saying, and he, I heard him say it. I can yeah. go back and listen to the podcast, yeah, 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 where he said it. But I'm sorry, man. Like maybe he's delusional in how he's thinking about it in his mind about how, like, how he did write a story that is about He Man. But you can't say that the show's about He Man if He Man's not in it. Yeah, exactly. If even he's if in it, for, and like he comes back through memories of Tina, like T- he's remembering. Tila. Yeah, Tila. Tila. I'm sorry. He does some flashbacks when something happened, and you see a glimpse of of that. Right. That's still not a exactly. Human. Yeah. Exactly. That's that's now I have to watch it because yeah. I, I want to try to kind of really understand people's perspectives. Right. And and the criticism. Yeah. It. So now, if they bring everybody back for the second one, I'm already turned off because there's no stakes in it. Like they're killing characters off, and then they're bringing them back. I'm I'm, I'm tired of that. You know, like yeah. So if they I, if they if they kill something else, I'm like ah, uh, they could easily bring them back. I, I'm okay with that because they, I I I've, I've been so preconditioned by comic books that mm-hmm. for me, like that that's normal. So yeah. I don't I don't push against that. That's not a problem for me. Yeah. Um, because it happens all the time in comic books. Like, yeah. There's, there's, Killed Spider Man off so many times. It's not right, but funny. just the way they did it here is just not well. <laughs> yeah, well, but again, uh, animation beautiful, and man. that and that's really the difference is like how the story is told to mm-hmm. kill someone off and bring them back. Yeah, is, if the story is good, uh, that's fine. If the story is clumsy, then it's not. You know, it yeah. doesn't make any sense. I mean, I know there's going to be people that are probably going to enjoy it. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. it wasn't. It wasn't for me. It's just and like what this made me want to see now. Is actually the 2002 um, He Man that came out back in the days, which I never oh, saw, and I yeah. heard that one's really good. Yeah, I do want so to see that. So that again. when I saw this, I never knew about that one. So I'm just like, I'm, I'm going to go back to that and probably watch that and, and see how that, that one. Is. But, you finished, are co- but you finished this He Man, right? Yes, I did. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Cool. So then, I, yeah, I'm gonna watch it too. I'll finish it off, and then, and we can even go back. I, I'll go. I'll watch the other one. Yeah. Uh, and we'll compare, compare them. The two. Yeah. yeah, we'll compare the two and, and see what's yeah. up. Because I saw some of the animation and it looks pretty clean. Yeah, for for two thousand and two. So, yeah. dude, I know that the toys for this new one look amazing. Like the Skeletor yeah. looks legit. <laughs> People but... keep making fun of it. They're like, all they did is take out like the 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 men's the the, the men's head and just put women's body on <laughs> <laughs> on Skeletor. No, no, no. Like on oh, the, on, on the on Tila and yeah. all those, on the girls. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're, yeah, they're yeah, so yeah. buff. Yeah, yeah. No, that that does make sense actually. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I'm gonna check it out, and I'll come back with a report on yeah. that, and and let you know what I think. So, shifting gears, l- let's talk about C. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. I, I, I you you said you've only been up to episode what? I think t- episode tell me, six. Tell me the last thing that happened in an episode. The last episode, episode I saw is where uh you find out that um uh, towards the end you find out that uh the the girl that had the the, the twins um uh, she's actually royalty. Okay. That's okay. where I'm at right now. Okay. Yeah. That's where I'm uh, at. Uh, the only thing that I did not like about this. Wait, 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 wait. Pause it. Pause it. Pause okay. it. I remember you telling me that, that you were like, like, there's some girls' parts that, like, like I, I, and, and, and then you were telling me, you'll find out when you, when you see it. I automatically, when I saw it, I started dying. And, I, and, I, and that's what I was going to tell you, babe. You're going to love yourself. <laughs> So gross. So, you know what? That's the way I'm gonna pray. <laughs> so, so gross. Literally, if it, I'm, I'm really glad that it only happened two times. 
<laughs> and and, uh, and and by the second time that it was happening, I just fast forwarded and it just went on to whatever. <laughs> but uh, me and my wife were talking about it. I was like, man, I, I told her, I'm like, if this happens one more time, I think I'm just out. Uh, I think I'm just out. And luckily, that like the story continued forward. Well, there was almost a third one, but she said, nah. Yeah. <laughs> Well, she knew. She was like, Alex has complained about it already. Yeah. He, he he's not into this, so I'm going to go ahead and, and, and break it off. She's like, but, let's, let's, let's pray right now. Like, no. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. But, uh, yeah, I uh, I absolutely uh, think this show, like I said, my three favorite shows right now, mm-hmm. that my top three favorite shows right now yeah. are all on Apple TV. Ted Lasso just came back. The, oh, okay. The new, That's the one I gotta watch. The new Lasso. season we've seen two episodes is hilarious. Yeah. Like it's awesome, and uh, but yeah, my three favorite shows, uh, for all mankind, C and Ted Lasso. Okay. Uh, uh, are are my top three are all this on Apple really, TV. This was really, really, really. I mean, the the cinematography, the Dude, acting, so beautiful. The I was, story. I love. I love the story. I was telling my wife that these guys getting to film where they're filming must have been a joy yeah so beautiful and, and like so picturesque like it yeah it's awesome and i, I yeah and the way they fight man. yeah i yeah. mean that is like yeah. this this episode right here when he yeah saved his yeah. Son, <laughs> yeah that was like dude it is brutal yeah yeah the the violence is definitely the brutal. one thing that bugs me is that his father hasn't taught him how to fight but it makes sense why it, his father comes from such a terrible background true that that's he doesn't true. want to pass on that legacy yeah to his sons you know yeah. and his daughter but you can already see his daughter already has that instinct right you know even though she's not blood to yeah him, she it, it's 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 being raised with him and right. knowing what he's capable of you know but dude how crazy was it when they're on the raft Mm. and all those guys are up like on the rocks and, yeah on the rocks and they're just yeah like yeah it's, it's uh, just... I, you know what broke my heart when they when they killed his buddy oh yeah because I thought yeah. he was going to be a part of, yeah. uh, of it and they killed yeah. him off I'm like oh, what man. I was so angry at was the uh, the guy that betrayed them uh-huh. at the very beginning of the show yes! and that he survives for as long as he did right maybe so i, was like, I know i was so upset put an arrow in his head yeah but uh yeah it's uh and, and trying to remember the kids names kofu and uh yeah i forgot their names already I, I remember uh, the last time i saw it was last week i haven't I haven't um rewatched it i haven't been catching up but the uh the girl uh, jason about. momoa's character baba uh Baba Yaga. Baba Yaga. <laughs> and and no, uh, what, what is it? Is it Baba Baba something? Um but yeah, his character, I saw the preview for season two, and, and in season two, like spoiler alert, you find out that his brother is uh is uh Dave Bautista, you know, uh Drax. Yeah. That that he plays his brother and, and, oh. and they're and they're at they're at season two hasn't come out yet, right? No, season two is coming out uh, this month. Oh, okay. But but they're at odds with each other. They uh, they hate each other. Up. Yeah, and uh, you'll see why. You'll because you, you, you haven't finished the season. I'm the surprised season he didn't see him when he was um rescuing the son because that's well technically his brother doesn't live there. Oh, like okay. you'll see if you if you watch the. So here's the thing. I would say don't watch the the trailer for season two until you finish, finish. this. Yeah. The, oh, uh, Kofu. Kofu. Yeah. Kofu. Uh, uh, but you you know who I don't like like. Gets on my nerves is the mom. Oh, I love the mom. And I, I, I know she's a good actress and stuff, but she gets on my nerves because like she that. was hiding their kids from like like you know. I, and I understand her I reasoning. Love this, I love the whole yeah. reason for it. I I love this to me is such good st- storytelling yeah. because there's conflict yeah. between each individual, but there's yeah. good reasons why everybody yeah. has the reasons that they do uh, as to why they're keeping stuff. Yeah, like. I totally understand her position, and but I don't agree with it. Dude, the girl that plays that shadow one, the one that ends oh, up, yeah, oh, she's yeah. so hot. <laughs> she, <laughs> I'm in love she, with her. She's awesome, too. <laughs> yeah. I, I like her a lot. Yeah. But, yeah, I like the way the, the, the system, the societal mm-hmm. system, the way that, like, the shadows, how they work. And yeah. All, yeah it's, it's pretty. It's, it's pretty really, bad. really well done, man. I've been telling everybody about it. Like, you got to watch this. And do you know how long humanity has been like this? 
It's been centuries. Five hundred years. Five hundred years. Yeah. yeah. So, so you can see how they can easily forget about like everything, the history. Of, everything. Yeah. yeah. Like what I love it whenever they run into a place that has old buildings mm-hmm. and and stuff is crumbled in it. Like I, yeah. I love that that uh, that look and, and yeah. And, I mean, and, and you know what's so crazy is how like these two kids are able to see, and when they're like following their their parents, right, but they get captured. Like they literally are like like go these people yeah. because they can't see them and they're just watching them and yep. it's yeah and, and I, yet I, one thing that I found interesting that I really liked about this too is that they're blind in different ways because it you'll notice uh, past this episode you'll see the son hmm. paid more has paid more attention to his other senses yeah than the daughter has. The daughter has focused more on her sight. Yeah. But he, like, can hear things further away than her. Right. Yeah, you'll see. You'll, you'll see, uh, like, it, yeah. It's, oh, okay. It's, uh, you've already seen this episode, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay, I see you already one. saw it. Yeah. This. Okay, cool. So, um, yeah, it's really, like, it's really cool. There's a lot of little subtle things that are happening. Yeah. And even the decisions that they're making. Mm-hmm. Like again, you're gonna like. I don't think you'll be happy with the daughter, but uh, you'll no. un- but you'll understand why. Because I know she wants to leave, and, and she she feels like there's more out right. there. So it it totally makes sense. Uh, again, even but the problem is because you're a viewer. Like yeah, like one thing that I encourage you is to really put yourself in each person's shoes. Yeah, to understand their motives. As like to- their biological father, the way how. Huh? Gave them a map on how to follow the that place. Like I was not expecting that far on that guy. And I'm like, why would he do it on? And how were they supposed to find that? No? Yeah, yeah. As it to like, uh, I mean, to me that was all coincidence. Well, it wasn't because you know the the guy, he can see as well. Yes. So the whole thing was supposed to be originally that he would come across and then he would show them, and then that's how they would gain each other's trust. Yeah, you know what I mean. But how long would it take for this? I know it, this happened right now. Uh, well, it, it should have been his life should have been different. Mm-hmm. But you'll learn more about him too. Oh, okay. Yeah, like, yeah, the, the whole thing is just it's it's, it's, it's a good story. Man. It's such a good story. It's so well done. Uh, the 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 cinematography, the I want the that sweater. That he- <laughs> I I love the like the hybrid style of yeah of, like. Their their weapons and mm-hmm. the way that they dress, like it, it's, yeah, it, it's really really cool. That I think one of the things you'll like in season two, and I'm not spoiling anything because you know I want you to wait until you watch it. But one of the cool things you'll see is you'll see uh, samurai armor come into play. Oh, and it looks really cool, man. Oh, dude, it, I it, am so. If they end up making toys of these, like, oh, one hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. Or, oh, <laughs> a freaking video game. That would be awesome. That would be awesome. Yeah. That would be dope. And man, can you imagine if it's a virtual one? But here's the kicker. You're blind? Yes. <laughs> it's all through sound. That would be too... I mean, I mean, not the whole thing. Certain areas. Yeah, it would be too difficult to play. Certain was, areas. Yeah. Certain it's... areas. I think that would be so cool. Yeah. Yeah, but... Uh, well, yeah, well done show, man. I, like, I, I really, really like it. Yeah, man, and, and, and it's just such, it. it, it's so beautiful to watch too. Yeah, you're right. That was the one thing you you said you're gonna love, like the the the, the yeah, even that. That's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. <laughs> Look at he's him. He just threw up everything. <laughs> well, he knows what he's about to do, and yeah. he's just like get sick by it. Yeah, to learn his history, I love yeah. his weapon. I love weapon. his weapon. Yeah, I love too that the weapon, like the thing that holds the sword, uh-huh. is also a weapon. Like it, like you know what I'm saying, like. The sheath for the sword. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Because he pulls the sword out, and then he still got the sheath, and the sheath is like a hard wood, yeah. and he's just like wrecking people with it. <laughs> yeah. And the way he kills them, like, it oh, dude, throw, but he, he goes, he all, goes around. all the way around. Like, I'm making really sure that you're not there anymore. <laughs> <laughs> that you can't come after me. Yeah, it's wild. <laughs> it's uh, uh. uh it's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, and it's funny because I saw this show a while back and I just, I'm like. So did I. I 
I just didn't. I, I you know what? Just I, like, I, I just had like got you. it. I got it, and I just watched. I'm just like you. I saw it, and I had no interest. Yeah, and, and, then, and you know what? I started watching a little bit, and I'm not the move for it. And then I ended up just like not watching. I got rid yeah, of it. Yeah. Well, it. Well, the thing that brought me to this is watching for all mankind because oh. the the quality of I you from, the prank. yeah that too that oh dude this is so that's so rough oh, yeah. this, dude. it's it oh <laughs> but yeah watching the the quality of that show made me made me really consider this show and uh <laughs> And and yeah, it made me want to like see what was up. And then when we got into it, like I said, my wife and I. And violence is really tough for her. She has to close her eyes when yeah. stuff like this is going on. You know, and I'm not desensitized to it, but I I definitely that. And did you see? Uh, or like, did you notice when he moves? Sometimes he moves like a monkey. Yes. The way yeah. that he yeah. Yeah. Especially when there. yeah. Yeah. He's still saying, close yeah, your eyes, brother. It. You don't want to see this. Yeah, uh, and all these guys that he's taken out, they're all slave traders. And you'll see more of where they come from um, again in season two. Oh, my yeah. God. Yeah, that's just, that's just rough. But now he's 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 taking out a ton of people. That was perfect, but like, yeah. <laughs> dude, that's this is so, guys and stuff. That's so crazy. So we're watching Jason Momoa's character just murder yeah. people, John Wick style, <laughs> but exactly. with a sword, dude. <laughs> there's no there's no survival for the guys. yeah. He makes sure when people are dead, they gotta be dead. dead. Exactly. He makes. Well, very well done. I think this guy's gonna say his name right now. Say hey, whose name? Uh, he's that guy's gonna say uh, Baba. Yeah, Baba Voss. That's what it is. Oh, the Baba Voss. Baba Voss. They, so they know each other because they used to be uh, mm -hmm. laborers together. Man. Yeah, it's. Very a, well. I, I will. I will definitely say that this movie is. I mean, this show is not for the light-hearted. Anybody that has a difficult time with uh, violence, the, this move, this show is going to be tough for you. Um, yeah, I can, definitely. Uh, but it's definitely. Um, how would I put it? Like I saw season one of. Uh, I saw season one of Game of Thrones, and I would put this at a ten compared to that because this show Game, Game of, of Thrones. Thrones because this you show Game of Thrones? huh? I saw season one. Oh, okay, uh, because I'd read all the books and I wanted to see like how how it compared and how good it was. How accurate it was. Yeah, and one thing that I really didn't like about Game of Thrones was uh, uh, it it relied so much on all the sexuality and it relied so much on all of like showing like skin mm -hmm. and the books are so much more than that uh the books are are really deal i know i know i remember seeing this with... yeah. i'm gonna make sure you're dead but um yeah the the books uh are so much more than than what you got to see on the screen, and on the screen, they really relied heavily on, on skin and showing you that aspect of right. it. And this show does have violence in it, a lot of violence in it, but it's the the violence is not the focus of the story. The violence is the reality of what these people are living with. Right. And then you know, really, what it comes down to is the journey of, of where they're headed and how it's, it's the quest yeah it's the quest for for the two kids 
And I also, I, I really like the time jump. Mm. I like that you see them when they're babies. Yes. You see them when they're toddlers, you, you know, so you get to see a progression and you also get to understand like he's lived, they, they've lived safely mm-hmm. for at least 18, 16 or 16 years, I think, right. 16, 15 years or something like that. So they've had that period of time and it, it's easier in my brain to see the progression of where they're going and, you know, like how he has to get back into violence. Right. But yeah, yeah. it's the. Uh, Really good Haniwa, show. that's it. Haniwa and Kofu. Yeah. Yeah. I can't wait for you to finish it, man. Yeah, I can't I, wait either. I, we'll definitely have stuff to talk about with that. Oh, sure. And then I, I want you to get into Ted Lasso. And Ted Lasso is so easy to get into because they're only 30 minutes each. So it's so much faster of a, of a you know, commitment. Yeah. As opposed to these shows, like you know, it's, it's an hour. It's an hour. Commitment. Yeah, they're like they're like yeah, they're a good hour. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So you got a lot of time you got to get into. But um, Mama is angry. And I'm trying to find out. Like, I mean, I'm I'm not gonna find out like why she left. Oh yeah, you're, yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll see. You'll see what's going on. Because she see. shows him like some sort of like she's got like, a ring. Yeah, like a ring, and then he's just like, yeah. Oh, well, regular. she starts shaking it. She yeah. starts like in yeah. that sound. Yeah. She's like, yeah, yeah. You'll see. It's, oh, it's man. Good. Yeah, Ooh. can't wait. Can't wait. Very good show. Yeah, man. I'm yeah. gonna miss you when I'm gone. Are you gonna be gone for another week, huh? Yeah, it'll be it'll be a full week. I think we're, I think the plan is to leave on Sunday, and then my daughter's orange. This no, it's the following coming. I think in. so. I I have to take a look at the. Uh, mm-hmm. oh, I like the way they move here with whips. Oh yeah, yeah. How they they get them across, to make sure they don't hit anything. But um, yeah, I know we leave on a on a Sunday, and then it'll take us. I think we're planning on four days to get up there, so we have enough time to see places. Mm-hmm. And then uh, my daughter, I think she can move into her dorm on the 9th. And then 20th is orientation for her. And then there's like a family uh, day okay. for, for all the incoming students at the college. Yeah. And I still can't. I, I haven't really been thinking about it all that much. or I've been trying not to think about it all that much. But I can't imagine life at home without my old daughter like it's weird like it hasn't hit me yet but it's just weird like i don't feel like an old man you know i joke around about it all the time like you know but i really don't feel like an old person yeah so to think that my oldest daughter is going to college and it like it makes me happy but it makes me like kind of cringe not cringe because cringe is is a different true Uh, it makes me tremble like it makes me like like happy and sad and melancholy and oh, I keep okay. thinking like here's my baby like you know for 18 years like we, we've been you know we've yeah been together like we've done all these things like a family and now she's just like gonna be on the other side of the country and and, and we're gonna talk to her every week yeah yeah you know, of course gonna, i mean gonna, luckily there's skype and all that stuff yeah now, we're so. gonna definitely touch base with her and all that stuff but and the college she's going to is the one in Iowa. Iowa? Yeah. Okay. She's going to a, a small private college in Iowa uh, named Dort. And, uh, but it's just weird, man. It's weird to think, like we were making, we were talking about her and I were talking about like uh, the plans of, uh, of things to take with her. So some stuff that she needs to gather here, what to leave behind, mm-hmm. what to take, you know, what to order when she gets there. How, how is she feeling? Is she a little nervous? Is she? I'm sure she is. She hasn't really shown it. She hasn't really shown it or, or talked about the nervousness. Um, and, and, you know, nervousness mixed with excitement, I'm yeah. sure. You know, like, well, one crazy thing that happened was uh, everybody gets assigned a uh, roommate. Mm-hmm. And her roommate, who, who she, so they they connect you with your roommate. Yeah. And then you guys talk. And so she started following her roommate on social media and followed her back. And then they were talking back and forth. Her roommate got an opportunity to become a principal at a elementary school so she, she 
she's not going to college. She's going right directly into a position. Wow. Yeah. So my daughter doesn't have a roommate as of now. Mm-hmm. Where she doesn't have a roommate for college. So we were talking about that. And I'm like, well, that's kind of cool that you might get a room all to yourself. She's like, no, I wanted a roommate, you know? And I'm like, so interesting. Like, well, because she doesn't want to feel lonesome. Well, lonesome. And she was like, I just need somebody to like remind me, go outside and not just be stuck in your room all day. Right. And I started laughing. I'm like, well, that'll be us. We'll call you. I'll call you every week and be like, go outside. Have you been outside? You yeah. know, just <laughs> laughing about that. But, but it is interesting the differences because I, I think. If I'd gone to college in the same way that she's going to college, like I went to community college, I never went to a, a, a big four year, but I was like, man, I would rather have a room by myself. You know, me, me personally. Yeah. But not everybody's experience is so different. But you then know? you you don't have brothers and sisters. No, you, you do I have, have a sister. Yeah. yeah but yeah. um, you really didn't grow up, or did you grow up? Uh, yeah. We, I mean, we didn't have, we didn't, we didn't, we didn't have the same friend group. Mm hmm. So but what I'm saying, like my that, friends were older. Yeah, and I hung out with them. I did. My sister didn't tag along. Right. No, but even at home, like she had her own room. You had your own room. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So, uh, I'm assuming that she shared her rooms with her sister. Oh, my my daughter. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So she's accustomed to to being with someone. Yeah. There's that for sure. Um. Yeah, I'm sure there, there's a lot of just different different things. Yeah. about what could bring a little bit of anxiety yeah to uh, you're away from home like it it's not like she's going to long right state where even if she was living on campus long Beach state she could come home every week and right she could, you know so yeah, it, yeah and like, the thing is to fly over there uh, you, you have to get off of the colorado denver no no iowa has its own uh where where in iowa um it's uh she's in sioux city iowa but uh, about an hour away, there's a, in in Iowa. There's a there's a. Uh, oh, because when I went to go visit my my cousin in Iowa, um, the air, the nearest airport is in Colorado, and it's like a two hour a two hour drive. So, so that's why I didn't know because I know I know, know Denver is a big city, so Denver has an airport. Because I know um, not the majority, but a big chunk of Iowa is um, uh, Yellowstone. Oh. Yeah, maybe then. I don't know. I think Iowa has an airport the same way that Long Beach has one. Okay. It's a smaller it's one. It's a smaller one? Yeah. I wonder where it is then. But either way, I, I know for sure we're going to be, be, like, she's going to be coming home during the summer. We're going to bring her home during her winter break. Um, But I, I also told her, like, you know, kind of let yourself, let yourself have the option of deciding to stay there if you want to stay during the winter time, not not during summertime because I think um, summertime the break is so long that she should come home. But I'm not sure that winter break like she might end up making friends and want to stay in there, you know, and go to over to people's houses locally and stuff like that. So I'm kind of preparing for that as well mm. to think about like her having her own life right you know uh which you have to you know yeah yeah for sure i mean that's just part of the natural progression i don't know that i don't know that me and mom are ready to have to have it go boom 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 because my my second oldest senior this year then then the next year my son is and then we've got three kids that are just they're done with high school and they're they're off to live in their own thing, and it's just it's it's crazy. The, the next one is is your boy, right? No, my my second uh, my old my second oldest daughter. Sarah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So and it's then her, it's your boy, and then it's my boy, and then we get a little bit of a break because my I have my my daughter Hannah is a freshman this year, mm-hmm. so then she you know we we get a slight like a year in between, and then yeah. she's here, and then boom, she's out, and then we got the three little, and then both of them for a while. So it's the whole thing's fascinating to think about. Again, I don't feel like an old man, and Good. you know, but crazy how how quickly things went by. Just in blink. I mean, from from my kiddos to I mean, I'm about to be married 20 years. That's crazy. I spent 10 years at Disney. That's wild. Like you know, it's just like 
so so nuts. It, it does. It's hey, unexpected. I was going to switch gears a little bit. I was going to ask you about the Olympics. Have you watched one second of the Olympics? No. I've Have had, you been excited at all? No. This is the first year. I've never. Hey, I probably the the thing is, um, if you're gonna watch them, you gotta watch them at night. A lot of it is at night. Is it? I think the they're time, going on twenty four seven because of the time difference. But I think they're going on. Uh, all, I, I guess it depends on which sport you're watching. Which event? Yeah. Yeah. This is the first year that not a single event got me excited that I wanted to go watch. Usually, I love the gymnastics, and for some weird reason, well, not weird. I, all my friends used to be swimmers, so that's why. But I used to be excited about watching the uh, the swim portion of it and the uh, and the gymnastics portion of it. And this year, not even a little bit. There was nothing in me that was excited yeah. about going to check them the out. The only one I'm thinking of watching, and that's going to be this Sunday, and that's because my uncle just uh, reminded me. Uh, I forgot about the whole soccer one, and I did like watching the the soccer one. And it seems like uh, Mexico, Brazil, and Spain are like the the, the three majors. The, 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 yeah, and I'm really hoping that Spain. Wins. It, uh, or Brazil, but uh, it seems like it's going to be Brazil and Spain for the end. Well, oh, oh uh, I'm sorry, Japan. Is what it the other? Mexico. Yeah. Well, oh, but Mexico. Yeah. Like yeah. That. Well, my blood comes from Spain. Oh, there you go. But uh, I think Japan is the other one. Wow. Yeah. That's that's really surprising because I know that like Germany in the and in, in yeah. the past has been one of the oh yeah one yeah, of yeah. the big time ones. Yeah. Uh, so I'm surprised that Germany's not in it, and um, even the United States. I'm surprised they didn't. Yeah, I'm. I'm really shocked too because a lot of our players come from overseas. Yeah, and, and they're yeah. So uh, I'm surprised England is not in yeah. it. Yeah. Um, that's really that's really kind of shocking. Yeah. So, but um, those games are like at like three in the morning or two in the morning. So I'm just like, oh great. <laughs> Here I am trying to work on my sleep and <laughs> I want to watch. <laughs> yeah. Well. I, I think you could always just watch them the next day, unless you're talking about watching them live. Yeah. So that's what you mean by watching them live. Yeah. But yeah, you're right. I I don't have to watch it live. Nah. What's What's the point? Like. Yeah. I need to make myself a baby carriage like that. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> I'm surprised the babies weren't hurt in this in this part. Oh yeah, this is wild where the bear attacks them. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty crazy. I'm surprised the bear was able to sneak up on him. Although I gotta tell you, man, after seeing a bear live, you could totally see they're so quiet. Oh, it's, well, their, their feet it has like so, this huge padding. It's so crazy. So dude. it's just like it's you so know. Crazy. And the bear that we saw, he was really pretty. He was like a uh, like a gold color. Uh -huh. It's a black bear, but he you know he just happened to have like a goldish color. He had like a dark face. Very quiet. You know, yeah, he's just like walking like real like. How far like of a distance was he from you guys? Uh, I would say from here to the front of your house. To, to the front of the house. Oh, that's close. Yeah, pretty close. That's really close. Did he even like look at towards you guys, or he just kept? Uh, mining? yeah, he looked around. He like like turned his head, looked around, and then just like walked up the side of the. Like I said, there was like I didn't even realize it because of the way that the trails were. That that like once he went up, there was like a little small trail that you could yeah. walk up. Was there like a fence or a barrier of some no, sort? No, 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 nothing. No, it's just no, all nothing, in the nothing. open. If he would wanted to come over and get burgers or whatever, yeah, totally. Yeah. So, no, not at all. Yeah, I literally saw a video. Uh, I think it was yesterday, si, where this guy is in his pool and he's like down chair, like in the pool, <laughs> take a seat. Yeah. And then you see this bear going towards the pool, and he's like either drinking from the pool, you can't tell. Yeah. And then he notices the guy, and he goes up to the guy, and the guy's like sleeping. And then the bear is this just a like, security camera? Yes, yeah, a security oh, okay. camera. And then the um the bear is like sniffing his feet. And then I guess he kind of either licks it or nibs on it. And then the guy kind of like wakes up and then the bear like freaks out and then it, it takes off. Yeah. <laughs> and the guy grabs his phone to like, I think, um, record him or take a picture. <laughs> so crazy, man. <laughs> but yeah, this is the type of bear you don't want to meet. No. A grizzly bear. This is the, yeah. yeah. And you can tell, do you know how to tell like when you look at the footprints, the difference between like a, a black bear and a grizzly bear? I only know by size. And I also like grizzly bears have a hump on their back. Yeah, uh, on the on nope. the, right behind their yeah. Their, but, so that's how I you know. But when you see uh, footprints, uh, the way you could tell by them is uh, the grizzlies. Uh, you'll see like the paw, and the nails 
like either like about far from the oh, top. Oh, okay. Bears are a lot closer. So oh, the black see, bears are yeah, a lot closer. Yeah. So if you see the uh, that they're far apart, that makes sense. Um, start start walking the other way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, from everything that I've read and I've heard people talk about, black bears are way more dangerous than grizzly bears in the sense that a grizzly bear will pass you up if they're not hungry. A black bear will attack you even if they're not hungry. Yeah. That's what people have said. So that like so black bears tend to be more dangerous to people. Well, well here's the thing. There's more black bears around our neck of the woods. Oh yeah, yeah. California. Than, yeah. Yeah. Than, yeah. Than grizzly. Yep. Because yep, yep. like uh, I remember when I went to Yellowstone, I was walking with my ex and during that time we're we're doing that hike, um uh, she was uh her thing, right. and when I saw those footprints they look fresh it was like, <laughs> you sure are goodbye you that... got running <laughs> as no, fast as you could away they, from her because they could smell her oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. so i'm just like we gotta get we gotta get back yeah, but they can smell you too i mean I, yeah I, but, I, I hear but, what you're saying but that's but... blood right there yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> i hear i hear you but yeah i mean the reality of it is that they their senses are so incredible yeah yeah one thing that i heard recently and i don't know if this is true or not is that uh uh like what you were describing about a woman's time yeah. uh, of month, that uh, you could be in the water in the ocean, and just because that's going on doesn't mean that a shark, like a great white or whatever, yeah, just because they they can smell it like a you know they they can sense and yeah. smell that like a mile away or whatever it is that do, that doesn't draw them, mm-hmm. it doesn't bring them in because yeah. they're opportunistic, right? Uh, you know, and, and so so they were saying that it's a myth. That you can't go into the ocean when you're when Bleeding. you're like that, yeah. Oh. When when you're during that that time. Yeah. And again, uh, what they're looking for are like seal stuff. I mean, they, uh, every time someone gets bitten, especially like like a surfer or whatever, it's because they're mistaken by a seal. Yeah, cause... I just saw a video too where this and because uh, the ones that are gonna attack more are like like amber sharks or or yeah, the um, smaller ones too. Yeah, and they're more aggressive. There was a video that I just saw where this hammer shark is um women and people are yelling at the guy because the guy's like the water and it's clear so you can see the hammer shark going towards him and they're like shark, 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 but the guy can't really hear because they're, they're so so far yeah. away and the shark notices him and then the guy like you see the shark going for him he starts and everybody's like freaking out but then i think the the the, the um the hammer shark i think realized that it, it wasn't either a uh, feel or what he thought it was it was like a human being and right when it touched them, it turned away and and and, and just jetted out and oh, I got left. And then the guy just freaked out and and, and got out of the. Dude, the... I saw a video a long <laughs> time ago of a guy on a kayak fishing. <laughs> yeah. You saw that one? And the shark he's like, just, he's the like, shark like, just kept coming at him, and he had to he had to row back. Yeah, and then make it on that. And even then, he's like, the, the shark is still out there. Yeah, he's still. He's like, like come on, man, come on, man. <laughs> Because he smacked him several times. With the... He's just like rowing and smacking, rowing and smacking. He's got a, he's got a, yeah. uh, uh, what do you call it? A head cam. A head cam, yeah. I, was... I do get nervous because I, I used to kayak around the coast of, um, of Palos Verdes. Yeah. I would hike like two miles, um, to this section, go down, inflate my kayak, and then get off that beach and then start kayaking, um, kayaking back towards my, um, uh, towards my car. <laughs> And every time I'll be out, I'll be out maybe like a good like half a mile out, and I was always I would always think like, oh man, like something could easily just jump up, <laughs> and I would go by myself too. But uh, but every time I did, I would call like the the um the the what are they called again? It's like the patrol, like the 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 coast guard. There's a number for them, and you t- t- you tell them like what you're doing and um and um just in case like if my parents don't hear about it if they contact the cops they'll be able to there's like a record that they know that i was kayaking at this point this point oh i see yeah so every time i would go by myself i would i would do that call i never got brave enough to to go out into the ocean far and i was just talking about this uh with my brother-in-law yeah uh, when we went camping um, a couple weeks ago, uh, that uh, I'm, it's unnatural to me, even though he, 
his point was right. He's like, no, it's completely natural. And I said, no, you're, you know, what I'm about to tell you, nature is natural, 100%, but it's unnatural to me to be out in nature by myself because I've spent my entire life in the city. So it's more natural to me to drive into Compton or to drive into Linwood or to yeah. drive into Southgate to go and get something late at night or whatever. I know the rhythm of the city. Yeah. And I know I my senses are like, well, it feels dangerous, so I'm not gonna whatever. So that's more natural than it is for me to take a backpack and sleeping bag to go out and hike out in nature spend the so right. that's very to me. But it's nature. Yeah. And nature is natural. Yeah. It's just not natural. Yeah. Me. It's just because um, you you weren't like. Um, I'm not acclimated to that. Yeah. You're not born. You didn't live in that type of environment. Yeah. Now, I can go up and camp and, and we do it every year, you know. Um, but that's never, that's never the same as living off the land. Or being by yourself. <laughs> exactly. You know? And, and uh, so it's just, yeah, it's always a wild thing to think about that like and i and you, you know, know I, i'm an idiot man, because like <laughs> I've, I've gone to locations by myself and i will go uh but this is when i was working in disney and uh, and they'll look like that look and and i will go hiking by myself and i've gone lost where i'm just like, and i'm trying to figure out how the heck do i go back because i've crossed different rivers and then i do find it my way back i'll find like a street and i'm like okay i'll, I'll just start walking off the street <laughs> you're insane oh here goes the shadow yeah you're insane i know you're insane. And, uh, so that's happened to me like twice, and uh, and uh, one time with my cousin Alvis, we went to um, Arizona, and they were still asleep. And I woke up early, and I I kind of went out the back of the resort because I stayed at one of the resorts, and uh, their backyard is the wilderness in that resort. And so I looked out. I was in the patio, and I saw a fox, and I hadn't seen that type of fox before in, in Arizona. So I got I quick change went out and i started following it but then uh i, I went out through these uh these um it was like a barrier of a fence and but there was they had cut it so i went through that and i started following the, and the fox would stop look at me and then i'll keep going so i just kept following following and then i kind of lost sight of him so i'm just like oh man i should tell my cousin about this so i went back i was too far told him about it he got changed he's like let's go let's go look for him so we went and we started going we end up getting lost. <laughs> we're just <laughs> so we try to figure out, and luckily we found uh, a section of the forest where they cut down the trees because that's where they put all the um, electrical um, um, posts, like for the phone lines and stuff. Right. So we're following that path, now. <laughs> so, <laughs> and we figure it out, and uh, like where the street is, and we're like two miles away from the resort. <laughs> Because our phones were working in that area, we had lost reception. Yeah, that's the craziest part is being <laughs> out in in nature. And oh, so when when I went on that two mile hike, that yeah. led me up to the uh, to the lake up yeah. above. Uh, even those switchbacks, there was a section where I was like, because I, I was by myself. Mm -hmm. I was I so, you know what happened was uh, I had run up and I grabbed my baby and yeah. I brought her back to to my wife. And then I I was headed back up to, to join up with the group. Right. And uh, I got up to a certain point and I, it, it felt like I could go right or left and it kind of wasn't very clear. I hate those type of switchbacks or just trails. So I made my decision and I made the right decision and I went the right way. But uh, it, I, yeah, like you said, I was thinking, man, easily could get lost. And my whole point, I was thinking, Okay, well, I need to go up no matter what, so I so that's what's going to happen. I'm going to keep making my way up, and I I chose the right way. But there was yeah, there was a couple spots too where it wasn't switchbacks anymore, and I and and I was like, oh, am I am I headed the right way? One thing that I I because my wife didn't go all the way up to the top; she stayed down below with her sister and a couple of other people. One thing I told you that was very interesting when I got up to where the lake before I could see the lake. The, the flowers, yeah. that team. So all of a sudden, it went from being real woods to being flowers out of the yeah. side of the mountain. A lot of green. So, yeah, a lot. Yeah, like yeah. very different. And I so love when it. I love when things change like that really quick. So uh, I got onto this path, yeah. and then I could lake on my left. And I had 
started, I had my iPad with me, so uh-huh. I started playing music while I was walking up. So I walked into the lake area playing Led Zeppelin. Ah! <laughs> I, you know, okay, just... <laughs> I, I'm going to be straight up with you, man. I hate you. <laughs> That's totally fine. I, 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 totally it, it annoys me when you're in the wilderness and I people under, are bringing their own music. I and understand. I'm just like, I just want to hear the, the wilderness. I, I can hear that. And I had to do it because I was all by myself and I was freaking out. I was like, I don't like this. And if there's like an animal that's going to be sneaking up on me, they need to hear that I'm with, with all of Led Zeppelin. Whistle? <laughs> or, or, nah, I was just like, me, Led Zeppelin, like we're all together. You know, Jimmy Page and, and uh, all those guys are going to protect me. And I, <laughs> I thought you were going to do the ones they've been doing in, uh, on, on Instagram or TikTok with James Brown. Ah! And you know everybody like <laughs> no, I haven't seen that. No, I was doing the the Thor one. Yeah, dun, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was like, no, I'm gonna come in like this, and 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 you know, if anything attacks me, I'm gonna like point my iPad <laughs> towards this. Be like, listen to this. <laughs> uh, <laughs> nah, man, good time though. Good time. Yeah. All yeah, right, my brother. I think we can. I think we can call it a, a day. All right. Uh, we're, we're gonna go ahead and shut it down now. And sounds good. Sounds good. We will come back at you folks hopefully next week with uh, more info, more news, and maybe, maybe even a new Spider-Man trailer. Trailer, yes. Maybe. We don't know. We don't know. We shall see. We'll see what happens. Yeah. We're we're praying, hoping. (laughs) Spider-Man day. Yeah. All right, everybody. Thank you so much again for listening. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for everything. Uh, Guys, eat your vegetables, drink your water, and we will talk to you soon. Adios.